Hey everybody, welcome to another fly tying episode from Holsinger's Fly Shop. Today a cool stone fly pattern for you. This is uh, Vince Wilcox's pattern called the Micro Stone. Very cool pattern. I stumbled across it in one of the books I have and uh, started tying it and I just absolutely love the looks of it. A um, couple things, you want thin profile, you want it to sink right to the bottom. Um, there is rubber legs on this, you know, it's going to give it a little bit of extra action. A lot of times I don't like rubber legs, but it does give you extra action. Um, I'm going to throw a little bit of extra lead on mine. Uh, he doesn't use it on his pattern, but I'm going to throw a little bit of lead on mine to combat the effects of the, um, rubber legs on there and the sink rate. So that's just the way I like to tie it, the way, you know, I've experimented with and found that I like to tie it. So it's what I'm going to show you. Anyhow, guys, a uh, very easy pattern for a stone fly and um, probably materials you you probably already have or, you know, something close to it. Also, like any stone fly, tied in blacks, browns, and golds. There's, you know, um, if you do a stream kick on one of your local streams, if it's a good, healthy stream and it has lots of stone flies, good chance it has multiple species of stone flies in it. And uh, they come in multiple sizes and multiple colors, so I like to do that. I'll tie, a lot of times I tie in like three different sizes, and like I said, browns, blacks, and golds. And uh, I'll show you a picture of a couple of them here right now. Anyways, guys, it's a really cool pattern, and uh, I'm going to get into tying it for you here. So here you're going to see the fly in the vise, and then the material list to tie it. Alright guys, here we see the micro stone in the vise. This one's the golden one. I'm going to pop a black one in here real quick. There you see a black one. Really cool. I like that one a lot. And I'm going to tie it in a brown version here in the video. So let's get into tying it. To start out with, I'm going to put a Daiichi. This is a 1260 um, size 10 hook. You can tie this on a Firehole 718 if you want. The bead is a firehole bead. This is a three millimeter um, black tungsten bead. I have about 10 wraps of .020 lead on there just to help get it down a little bit extra. And for thread, I put 140 denier brown thread. So get that wrapped on there. Then the next thing I'm gonna put on is I'm gonna make a little hot spot on the tail of this. And to do that, I'm using some fluorescent orange Antron. And I just tie that on there. And then I'm going to wrap it right back to the bend of the hook. And come back up here. Now, for the tail, I'm using some brown flex floss. You can use any kind of rubber leg here, but I like flex floss. It's small. So we're just going to start it out, and I'm going to tie it on on the side. And then I'm going to pull it tight and pull it back to wrap it down the side so I get to keep it right where I want it and put it back there to that tail. And I'm going to come back up here with my thread, pull the other one over to the other side and wrap it down the other side. So I get them nice and separated and there you can see they splay right off the back really nice. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to Cut that little tag off there and just make a nice little hot spot in the back. And if you want, you can cut the tails off the length now or you can do it later. We'll just do it now there. Next thing we're going to put on is a piece of gold ultra wire in brassy. And I need to get a piece off of here. So I want about a four or five inch piece. I can also cut it longer if I want and use it on multiple flies. So we're just going to tie that down and again tie it right back there to the tail and then hold it out of the way. Next thing we're going to come in with to make the abdomen on this fly is I'm going to use some amber stretch tubing. This is size small and I'm just going to tie that in right there behind that lead and then we're going to wrap it back. And pull it nice and tight to get back there 
And then when I come back up through, what I want to do is make nice flat wrap side by side and make sure I get this all covered nice and brown because it's going to show through that amber. So the other thing I want to do is smooth this out real nice. I want to keep it thin like you see there, but I also want to make it nice and smooth so I don't have any bumps or anything. So now we're going to take this amber tubing and I'm just going to wrap it forward side by side touching wraps and we're going to wrap it again right up there to that lead I really like this fly because it keeps that nice thin profile once we get up there to the lead we're just going to tie it off about three nice tight wraps there and then we can cut this off and then we're going to rib it with our gold wire so now if you can see um, the ribs you made with the uh, stretch tubing, you can follow them. If not, just make nice even wraps. There we go. And then once I get up here to the lead, we're just going to tie it off too. Okay, now I did go a little bit further up here on the abdomen than I actually... I'm going to cover some of it up is what I'm saying. So for the the wing case on this, I'm going to use some uh, natural mottled oak thin skin. Just going to set it up on top. You can use brown, black, whatever color thin skin you have handy. And we're going to tie that down. And I want that to go about a third of the way back there. So now that I got that on there about a third of the way, I'm going to get some... Uh, this is brownstone SLF pattern blends. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on here. And we're going to make a little butt section here right there at the back that I can build my legs off, off of with. So we're just going to wrap that back there. And then I'm going to come in with two more pieces of flex floss. Again, one on each side. And we're just going to tie them in right in front of that little bump of dubbing we made. And what I did was I cut two pieces of flex floss about three inches long. Okay, then after I get those tied in, then I'm going to bring a little bit more of that brownstone dubbing in here. And we're just going to go in between these legs. If I have enough, I'm going to go in front of them a little bit. So I don't want to, I want to still continue to keep it thin. But I want to spread out these legs. And then we're going to come right up behind the bead there. We're going to pull our wing case over. Tie it down. And then I'm going to pull it back over so I tie in right behind it. Now the last thing we can do is if you want, I sometimes like to put a little collar here. Just to finish it off nice. Go real thin on this. Pull those legs back. Make a nice little collar right there behind the bead. And then we're going to whip finish it off. I like the look of that collar there. It kind of just finishes it off for me, I think. Okay, now we're going to... Oops. That's fine. There we go. Now I'm going to cut my legs to length. I want the front legs a little bit longer than the back legs. I'll just try to cut them even on both sides there, the same length. There you can see the last thing I'm going to do, which you do not have to do, but um, I like to do is I'm going to put a little bit of UV glue. This is medium viscosity solar res on that wing case just builds it up just a hair protects it a little bit and uh, I like it and that's all you need to do so there you have a the brown version of the micro stone okay everybody hope you like that pattern I really do and uh, that's why I shared it with you um, one thing about this fly tied in multiple colors multiple sizes like I said earlier and um, Substitute guys if you don't have the stretch tubing 
use, or if you don't have the small, use the large, who cares? If you have uh, vinyl rib, you wanna use vinyl rib instead of stretch tubing, that's fine, it'll work. What you wanna do is just keep this a thin profile. That's what this fly is all about, a thin profile that's gonna cut right through the water to get down to the bottom. Use what you have, I stress that in all my videos. You know, we own a fly shop and I have no problem selling whatever you want. But I also grew up, you know, learning to tie and experimenting with different things. And just because the pattern calls for one thing doesn't mean that's the only way it's going to catch fish. You can find multiple things to replace things with that work just as well as what the original pattern calls for. So don't get stuck on what the original pattern calls for. Use what you have and just mimic as best you can. It'll work. The fish aren't that picky. So... Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and like always, head on over to our shop at wholesinglersflyshop.com if you would like me to tie any of these for you. Um, I do custom tying. You can get a hold of me at wholesinglersflyshop at gmail.com. That will go directly to me, and, uh, you know, I'm tying orders for whatever you want. Get ready for trout season coming around the bend here, so... So next week, guys, uh, get back out there, keep tying, do some winter fishing. The trout are biting right now, and uh, have fun, guys. I'm Sean Holsinger.